Hello everybody, how are you doing? In today's video, I'm going to be dissecting a flower for you. But before we get into that, it's important to realize there's really two types of plants on this earth. And pretty much everything fits into those two categories. We've got the flowering plants, and these are called angiosperms. And an angiosperm is a plant that has flowers, and the flower is the sex organ. And as you can see, and as you will see as I dissect it, the sex organs are these parts that are sticking up here and a little bit deep down inside. So we've got angiosperms or flowering plants, things like lilies, these are lilies, and roses, and tulips, and dandelions, and even grass has flowers. And then we have another type of major plant, and these are the cone-bearing plants. And this is the sex organ of a cone-bearing plant, like a pine tree or a spruce tree. There are two different types of cones. There are uh, female cones, and this is a female cone, and then there are male cones. Whereas when we come back to the flowering plants, the angiosperms, the um, interesting thing about flowers is um, both sexes are in the same plant, so there are male parts and female parts, and I'll be pointing those out to you. So you're not going to be looking at my face too much, you're going to be looking at my workstation down here, and we're going to utilize a magnifying glass, I'm going to show you some dissection equipment, and we'll also be utilizing a new microscope that I just bought that I want to show you as well. So stick around. All right, so here we are with my workstation all set up. Let's go through some of the equipment that I'm going to be using for this flower dissection. Well, I've got my flower specimens right here, nice and large flowers, easy to see. Um, so we'll go through the dissection equipment here. Uh, this one is the scalpel, which is used for cutting. Um, you need to be very careful when you use a scalpel. Over here we've got a couple of pairs of dissection scissors and we'll be using that to cut off parts of the flower, the stamens and the pistil and all these structures that I'll be going through with you. Alright, two different types of those and this is called a dissection probe and this is a blunt probe because the end is not sharp so you can use it to point at structures to uh, tease apart structures without damaging them and I've also got a little specimen container here that we can put something like pollen in or maybe a little, another little piece of the flower and we can examine that under the microscope. And speaking of microscopes, here's something that I just picked up and I think I'm going to have a lot of use for that, especially in, an, in a video like this. This is the Blue Ridge microscope. It's got a USB connection on the end here. So you just plug this into your computer and it uh, magnifies, uh, it's got three objectives, a 10 times, 60 times, and 200 times objective. And you can take still pictures and videos. So we'll be using this piece of equipment as well. All right, so let's get underway with the flower dissection. Here we have the flower, and this is a lily. And once again, the flower is the sex organ of the plant. So I'm gonna point out some of the structures that we can see externally, and then we'll take a closer look. So as I come in here to the middle, um, you see a central structure that's sticking up. It looks like a stem. And this long thing here is the female part of the plant. This whole thing here is called the pistil. And it's made of three parts. The top part here is the stigma, and this is a sticky part here that the pollen, which is produced by the anthers here, which we'll talk about again in a moment, the pollen sticks onto the stigma, all right, and then the pollen, which is the male sex, um, the male sex cell, the pollen then grows a tube down this central um, stem-like structure. Now this central stem structure is called the style, so we've got the stigma, the style and deep down inside the plant, it's going to be very hard to see until we actually open this thing up, but deep down in the middle is a structure called an ovary and you of course have heard of ovaries before with respect to human reproduction in the female, the human uh, ovary produces eggs. Well, same thing for an ovary in a flower, they produce eggs as well. So when pollen lands on the stigma and it grows down the style, this tube here comes down into the ovary, fertilizes the eggs. When the eggs in the ovary are fertilized, they turn into um, seeds. The male structure of the, of the flower, and remember both sexes are present here, are these structures here. These are called stamens, and it's easy to remember that these are the male structures because they, you know, they're called stamens. They have the word men in them. 
This part up, up here at the top is called the anther, and this is where the pollen is produced. And actually, all this brown stuff on top, um, some of it has come onto the petals here. You can see this is pollen. It's a very sticky substance. And that's the male sex cell, whereas the female sex cell is in the ovary, and those are the eggs. So here we have the anthers that produce pollen, the male gamete or sex cell. And then we've got this part here, these long little tendril-like structures, and these are called filaments and they basically support uh, the, the anthers up top. So collectively, we've got the anther and the filament, and together that's called the stamen. So let's dissect this out. I think the first thing I'm going to do is take off the petals so it's easier to see. So I'm going to use some dissection scissors, and I'm just going to cut the petals off. I could probably just as easily pull them off. Maybe we'll have a look at those under the microscope in a little bit. So I'm cutting off of the petals. There we go. Let's see if I can just rip those off a little bit easier. There we go. Now I want to save those for later because we're going to make a nice image on a piece of paper. So at this point you can really see um, the sex organs of the plant a little bit easier. So once again, quick review, we've got the male parts here, the stamens, there's one, two, three, four, five, six in this lily flower here. We've got the anther that produces pollen, we've got the filament that holds up the anther. We also have the central region here which is the female part, collectively called the pistil, made of three parts the stigma that receives pollen, the style that the pollen tunnels down, and deep down inside here we've got an ovary. And I don't know how well we're going to see it, but I'm going to clear these off. So I think the next thing I'm going to use, dissection scissors once again, and I'm going to remove these, um, these, sta these uh, stamens. So there's one. I could probably grab a couple of them here. And I'll do them one at a time. There's the second one. Already a little bit of pollen is collecting on the surface of my little work surface here. There's another one. Another one. Two more to go. That one. And that one. Now, one piece of equipment that I didn't show you before that's going to come in handy are these. Now, commonly people call these tweezers, but they're really forceps. These are sort of a cheap pair that I've got, but they're going to do the job. So we can just adjust these stamens here. Put them in a nice little row there so we can see them. Now we're going to take a closer look at these under the microscope in a bit. Now you can't actually see those off camera, so I'll just pull them down here. Well, they're there anyhow. All right, leave them up there for now. We'll take a closer look in a bit. Now here's the thing that we want to we want to examine a little bit more closely. All right, let me see if I can zoom in on that and whether or not that's going to work. Come on. All right, it's a little out of focus there, so I'm going to back it up. So this is the female part, right? So right down here, let me take the dissection probe and point it out. See this thing here, this green thing. That is part of the ovary, and inside there, we would expect to find um, we'd expect to find the, the eggs, which, when fertilized, become the seeds. Now, here's an interesting fact. I don't know if you know this. If you've ever eaten an apple, of course you have. Pear, peach, banana, all those things. They are formed from flowers, and the apple or whatever fruit you're talking about is actually an ovary. As the flower um, of the apple gets fertilized the seeds inside, uh, the eggs become seeds, and then the fleshy part of the apple forms from an ovary. So when you eat an apple, it's actually a big, uh, swollen, ripened ovary. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this right off here. And um, I'm not going to see much there. I'm going to see if I can tease this apart a little bit. Using the scalpel, being very careful. I'm going to attempt to open this up and uh, we'll see if we can zoom in on that in a bit. Oh. All right, I'm going to use my hands. Hands are one of the best uh, dissection tools you can use if you can actually get a good grip of this. And I'm having some difficulty. It's very, it's very liquidy. That's not, that's not going to work very well. Let's see if I can use the probe to open it. Okay, so there's the ovary. It's fallen right off now, so uh, I'm going to actually cut it right in half. 
and lay it out for you. See if we can see anything. I'm going to bring the magnifying glass in in a bit. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to, to uh, see anything. And remember, uh, this is not uh, a fertilized. Uh, the eggs, the, the eggs are not fertilized in this, so you're not going to actually see that much detail in this.